Mitaku Yapi, Oyate Techa Omani and Macha Pelo. Hello, I just introduced myself in my language, Lakota. My Lakota name is Oyate Techa Omani, which means walks with young people. I also go by Frank Juan, and I'm a Sichangu Lakota hip hop artist. The song you just heard tells my story and the story of where I come from through music. Most of that story wasn't pretty or easy, but now I'm telling that story to the world, and I want you to hear it too. I was born and raised on the Rosewood Reservation in South Dakota, one of the poorest and most underrepresented places in the country. I was living in somewhat of a bubble. In 2011, I left the Rosewood Reservation to go to school in Chicago. It was a culture shock, not only for me, but as it turns out, it was a culture shock for others as well. I remember one day in the elevator of the dorm I lived in, a young lady skipped the typical elevator small talk and she asked, your hair is really pretty, what are you? And I said, thank you, I'm Lakota, I'm Native American. She looked at me confused and she said, aren't you guys extinct? Stories are important. They shape our views and how others perceive us. We're either a part of the national conversation or a long lost figment of history books. To the woman in the elevator, I was extinct. But back home where I'm from, our story would say otherwise. Our story is overflowing with culture, passion, and life. Our story is so much more than a paragraph in a textbook or a token role in some movie. We're more than a box to check off or a footnote in history. I'm proud to be a voice for Native people. I'm even prouder to take the We Day stage and speak on behalf of the Lakota Nation. But like every other change maker in this room, I wouldn't be here without a strong support system. As they say, it takes a village, and not to brag, but I think the village behind me rivals the best. My mother, my grandmother, my aunties, they're the reason I'm on this stage. And when I left home to study in Chicago, there was one more woman who helped me tell my story. I was in a culture, race, and media class at the University of Columbia in Chicago, and I was much too shy to say anything in class. But the professor, Claudette Roper, refused to let me stay silent. And week after week, she would chip away and encourage me to share a little more, and she would make space for me. I was the only Native American in class to share who I am. And by the end of the class, it was the first time I had felt represented like I had back home. To the teachers out there, you do make a difference in your students' lives. Thank you for hearing my story. Thank you for hearing my truth today. Never be afraid to raise your voice and share your story with the world. Thank you, Wede.